Hey guys, welcome back. Let's move over to question 5 part B of the CXC CSEC March January 2012 paper 2. The diagram below shows a triangle PQR, PQR and its image P prime Q prime R and the steady coordinates of P and Q. Okay, so P has coordinates 2, 1 and we move 2 units along the x-axis and 1 unit up and we get the P and Q has coordinates <coughs> what? we move 4 units along the x-axis and 3 units up and we get the Q so Q has coordinates 4, 3 describe fully the transformation on maps triangle PQR on the triangle P prime Q prime R prime well firstly we see that PQR and P prime Q prime R prime are congruent triangles and <coughs> the distance of P to the x axis is 1 the distance of P prime to the x axis is 1 the distance of R to the x axis is 3 the perpendicular distance the distance of r prime to the x-axis is also 3 and the distance of q to the x-axis is 3 and the distance of q prime to the x-axis is 3 right. also the orientations have changed um, if we go in a counterclockwise direction p goes to p then q then r we see that if we go in that same counterclockwise direction, the orientation has changed because we, if we go in the counterclockwise direction, we get P prime, then R prime, then Q prime. Right? So the fact that the orientation has changed in such a way that it's a flip, the perpendicular distance of the points from the x-axis, of the corresponding points from the x-axis are equal, and the reflect and the um, transformed image is congruent to the original image we see that this is a reflection in the x-axis finally we want to write down the coordinates of the images of P and Q under the translation 3 and 3 minus 6 so let me clear the screen and let's perform um, under the translation 3 minus 6 okay so let's see if you have space to draw it here one two three four five six and moving across three one two three all right so if we the transition says move three units to the right and six units down so that's one two three and six units down one two three four five six so that'll be somewhere here then If we bring this down here, All right? So this is the new point P double prime. And this would be minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So, and this would be 5. So P would have the new coordinates minus 5. Sorry. We'll have the... Uh, we'll have the new coordinates 5, negative 5. And Q... We move in one, two, three, and six units down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and stand up here. So Q double prime would have the coordinates seven minus negative three. And to just complete things, one, two, three, 
Green six stone. R double prime would be here, and this would be our new triangle after the translation. And so these are the images of P and Q after the translation three negative six. And that's it.